Hello kittens, Cats Out Loud here, and this is the intro to the second part of, <laughs> um, so may it be a witch dating simulator. Like I said in the last one, if somehow you didn't watch it for some reason, you should probably go watch that first, just gonna say. Go watch the first part before you watch the second one, but we're gonna hang out with Morgan and Aaron in this episode, so hopefully you enjoy the video and it'll be starting now. Let's hang out with Morgan. Wanna hang out tomorrow, Morgan? Wanna ditch school tomorrow and hang out? Just you and me. I thought you would never ask. I was going to ask if you wanted to come check out my place. Really? Meet you at the wall tomorrow morning and we'll go to mine. I don't know any place to get this girl. But your ma'am? Don't worry about it. If you say so. Look at this lady. What voice should I give her? Morgan. <coughs> what do I... How do I talk to this which voice? Welcome to Chez, Morgan. You live in a crypt? Where do you think I was... Eh. This, I'm trying to find a good voice for this girl. Her voice doesn't fit me. Oh. She looks so cool. Where did you think we were going? I thought maybe the cemetery was a shortcut to your house? Also, technically, it's a mausoleum? But, you know, now that I think about it, I kind of like Crypt. It's really cool. Uh, it's freezing in here. It's really cool, dude. I know, right? I'm pretty lucky. This has been in my family for like a hundred years or something. Why don't you make yourself at home while I smoke? So, you smoke? Learn any good spells recently? I like your outfit. You smoke? Weed. I quit smoking cigarettes a couple years ago. I don't really like smoke. I hear quitting smoking is harder than quitting invisibility magic. Can I try some? <laughs> Feels like it is. Feels like it. Fair play quitting then. Well, I quit two years ago. And three years ago. And four years ago. So it isn't written in stone. Did you just... Ha, sorry. Ahem. I like your outfit. It's epic. Thanks. It's nice to see you out of your uniform. At least buy me dinner first. Damn. That's not what I meant. Ha ha. <laughs> I meant that I know you hate your uniform, and you look way more comfortable in your own witchy clothes. Yeah, I feel a little more like I can breathe. Wow, you know it's bad if you feel more free in a crypt than at school. You would rather be at school now? No way, I was just trying to be funny. Well. You're not wrong. It does sound kind of messed up if you think about it. I hate that feeling, uh, that fucking school. Anyway, learned any new spells recently? Seriously? What's next? I would like to hex you up. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Actually, found a good one yesterday on witchweb.com. P-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-
Truna Valtese. Uh, a charm incantation? A goddess invocation? A curse? Pa Pua Pulten Truna Valtese. A goddess vocation? I'm secular. I'm secular. Lone wolf. No goddess for me. It's a curse. A strong one, too. For a verbal spell. Got any enemies? My boss. My ex. Our vice principal. Yeah, our vice principal. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mc Kiernan. Oh, yes. Okay, I need you to visualize this human scum in your mind's eye. Okay, I'm visualizing them. Now, visualize what you intend for them. Bit of a warning here. Don't go too dark or it could come back to bite you in the ass. I speak from personal experience. I like never another restful night's sleep or step in water just after putting on clean socks. No! Don't do that. May people be as kind as you are to me. May your love never be returned. May you encounter an un unnecessary amount of glitter. Yes! The glitter. Love the creativity. Now repeat after me. Pualtin Turna Voltasi. Whoa! Did you feel that? Not as much as they just did. I told you. Powerful stuff. I hope this voice fits her. <laughs> I feel like it does. Uh. Um. Look at this room. This is epic. Okay, let's start with this. Technically, every day is a family reunion. Okay, that's just creepy. I'm just kidding. But hey, people keep their loved one's ashes on their mental mantle, so... Don't worry, the coffin in the coffin is empty. Phew that one's mine. Eh cool. That's Lucifer. He's a little shit. But I love him. You can pet him if you want. <laughs> Good kitty. Doll. Can I keep him? Depends how much candles he knocks off the shelf in the next few days. <laughs> You're not a little shit, are you? Who's a little demon spawn? You are. Yes, you are. Aw. Good kitty. No. Oh. Damn. What's here? We got, wanna read my, <laughs> wanna read my tarot? Yes. Let's go. What are we gonna get? We got candles. Uh, this, knife, lighter, crystals. Okay, oh shit. Go for this one. Oh, I can only take from these ones. It. Okay. And this one. Okay, that's what we got. It's the Queen of Swords. Bow before me. Ha. Huh. In the present, you? In the present, you are a good judge of character. In choosing friends, Intim intimidate those who are unworthy of your time. Go unappreciated by those around you. 
You're, you're clearly worthy of my time then. Unless you're intimidated by me. <laughs> Boo. Ah, scared. Oh, damn. It's the Seven of Wands. Oh, yes. In the past, you pushed back against authority, faced challenges to your happiness, carried a heavy weight that you learned to live with. We're going with this. Yeah, Lucifer's lazy cat butt. And the realization of my inevitable death. But still, mostly Lucifer. <laughs> In the future. What's this? It's the Ace of Pen Pentacles. Yes. In the future, you will... Find a new career, manifest that thing you have been dreaming of, achieve physical reward. Uh... Yes. Whoa, weird. I have been having this dream lately where I'm lost in the woods. And a stranger holds their hand out from the trees and leads them to the light. Me. Wow, Morgan. That's actually beautiful. And then there's just this giant mountain of weed. <laughs> and you re ruined it. Honestly, I have been feeling a little down lately, and in a weird way, this reading made me feel better. So, thanks, Cat. I have a lot to think about. Anytime, Morgan. I'll do it every day if you want. Let's see what else. Uh, I don't know what I'm... Because there's this, this. You like my sig seagulls? Si 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 seagulls? I got one for focus, one for sleep, and one for revenge. Just the basics. Nice. I wouldn't open that if I were you. Fermentation spell. Ugh. How do you get the skull? With a lot of patience. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> that was a fun night. Oof. <gasps> Exhale? Cough, cough. Oh no. So I just smoked. So, wanna play a game? Yes? Nice Halloween decoration. Decorations? Uh, we're gonna click this. Ooh, it's an obsidian crystal ball. So, is this? Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, it's okay, I just wanna hang out. All right. What is it? Oh my god. <laughs> Terrifying what the flip was that. <laughs> my brother won that for me at Thunderland in the ring toss. I named him Faust. Yeah. <laughs> that seems correct. Aw, that's sweet. You like my obsidian crystal ball, huh? You want the answer t to a test? I got you covered. What's this? Hey, give me that. The witch. Uh, eight witches. To our biggest fan, magical. Me. Do you always snoop around in other people's stuff? Yep, that's my job. Okay. Anything else? 
I think that's everything. Oh, I feel serene in mess. Okay. Oh, there's still some kung pao in here. Want some? I'm good. Thanks. I think I'm fine. Bet the giddy. Can I keep him? Depends on. Yep, we already read that. I just want to pet the kitty over and over again. Want to play a game? How about... Would you rather? Let's do it. Would you rather... Hmm, date someone you love? Or someone who loves you? Someone I love? Or someone who loves me? Loves me. You gotta put yourself first. Dude, if they love me, that's great. Anything else and you're just going to get hurt. Would you rather always get away with lying or always know when anyone is lying to you? Get away with lying, yes, sign me up. Um. Oh, this is a tough one, guys. What do you think? Always know when someone is lying to me. Always get away with it. I'd say always know. I don't know. I think there are some doors we just shouldn't open. Would you rather not have love life or not have a career? Ooh, I want to be a badass boss in six inch heels. Cutie sort of makeup for a crappy job. No, they don't. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I need both. Minus the heels. Call me ma'am. Total hip. Hypothetical. Hypothetical. Would you rather have guys ask, are you P.S. Ming? P.S. Amming? Anytime you're not smiling? Ew. Or always have amateur guys explain your area of expertise to you as you're working. Oh my god, that's total suckage. Oh my god. I can smile as a defense. I need to focus in work. Work ends. I refuse to smile against my will. Yeah. <laughs> I can smile. But both options are so tempting. Consolation. Prize. Either way you get. Can punch the... <laughs> True. Would you rather... Find an awesome friend who gets you, or find 10,000 euro. Obviously, come on, you would give up 10,000 euro? Damn, whatever you say. Would you rather have true love or have your powers? Ooh, why are you making me answer these hard questions? God. Magic or true love? Uh, I don't think true love is a thing. But this thing. <laughs> Magic! Who needs love when you are a powerful, right? Right, I think. I love this stupid game. Um. Uh. Can I actually do something with this? Is there anything else? I really don't think so. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? I don't think so. Nope, that's it. Bye. Yeah. No, I was just looking around. It's getting kind of late. Hey, can I ask you something? Shoot. Do you like hanging out with me? So, do you want to do this again? Was this a date? <laughs> that
that's a terrible question. Don't ask that. Do you like hanging out with me? Or so do you want to do this again? Isn't that the idea? The idea? Of dating. Oh. Do you think? Do you want to do this again? I don't want to complicate things. Maybe. Yeah, I do. Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to complicate things. Maybe. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know. She's so cool. I'll say maybe. Okay. I don't want to commit to anything or anyone just yet. Good. Me either. Thank goodness. <sighs> so, I guess I'll see you around, Morgan. Oh, you will. <laughs> but damn, Morgan's so cool. Guys, guys, I've logged in. Bridget has logged in. Aaron has logged in. Morgan has logged in. They all logged in. I fucking hate capitalism. Same. Hello to you too, Morgan. Why do you hate capitalism? Because my boss, Grace, is such a massive asshole. It's capitalism's fault. Grace is an asshole. All human misery is the result of capitalism. Bullshit. Bosses stealing what workers work hard to earn. She has a point, Bridget. There's far worse than capitalism, but yes, capitalism sucks. What kind of kid gets traumatized by looking at the back of a PS2 box of Siren Blood Curse? What? Oops. If that kid's mom cares so much, put him on a damn leash. And my pet. And my pay gets docked? Fuck capitalism. I can speak, I swear. I swear. Fuck capitalism. Fuck jobs. Jobs suck. I hate my job too. We all have to work, right? I kind of like. I hate my job too. Yeah, there is nothing worse than dealing with humans. Well, I love my job worldview I will never understand, especially since you work around damn kids all day. Okay, that's probably not too bad. That's the best part. Helping parents pick their kids' Halloween costumes or helping the kids pick themselves is the best. Plus, I get to dress up as a princess, too. Mm. <laughs> that's the noise I will make for that. Sorry, my mistake. I forgot Bridget is dressed by little birds every morning. <laughs> Bridget. I love my job too, Morgan. That I kind of get. You get to eat all day and, re and be creative. I don't get to eat what I cook. And it's not all day, I wish. I only get to work part time. And we have a menu to stick to. But yeah, you're right. It's the best. Well, you can all go to hell. And take Grace with you. So may it be. So may it be. Sorry. So may it be. So may it be. So may it be. I hope that voice fits Morgan. <laughs> Let's go see Aaron. What up, Aaron? Can we hang out at your house? At lunch tomorrow? Sure, but I don't know if I baked enough moon cookies for you and Morgan and Bridget. I was thinking maybe we could go to lunch just us. Like, just you and me. Yeah. No Morgan. No Bridget? Not this time. Nope. Why? Are they mad at me? No, they didn't say anything. I just thought it could be nice for 
just us to hang out together for a chance. If you want. Is that a yes? Oh yeah, sorry, it's a yes. Let's go. Something's cooking. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. Wow, this place is lovely, Erin. You really... God, what's this... What's her voice? <clears throat> uh... Okay. You really like it? Sorry, it's kind of... Of a messy... I thought your parents were hate witches. They do. <laughs> this is my grandmother's house. She lets me come over and hang out where, whenever. She goes out a lot. Why don't you have a look around and I'll make us some tea. Thanks, Erin. You're making tea? Learn any good spells recently? You're making tea? Yeah. <laughs> what kind do you want? Do you have coffee? No. We're not drinking coffee. Just normal tea with milk. What's normal tea? Earl Grey? Green tea? Green tea would probably be normal, right? I'll have whatever you're having. I have this great pumpkin chai black tea. Ooh, that sounds so good. It tastes like Halloween. Oh my god. Sounds like it tastes like a candle. Mmm, spices. It's super sweet. Mmm, spices. I love this time of year. It just feels rarer than other months. I know that makes no sense, but it makes perfect sense. Here you are. Here you go. Sip. Mmm, Erin, this is delicious. I added a teeny drop of my grandma's honey. Makes almost anything taste amazing. Ahem. So, so, learned any good spells recently? Oh, my grandmother just gave me a ran rundown on singi singil <laughs> making. <laughs> Want to make some? Yeah, let's do it. All right, grab a pen and paper. Right now? Well, yeah. You go grab some. I'll wait. Um. Uh. Oh, I got paper. I got paper. Um. You got some? Nope. I have a pen. I got a pen and paper. Bitches. Um. Do you think I would have found one? Nope. All right. I'll just. Keep waiting then, I guess. Wait for it. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. You got some? I have a pen. That's perfect. Sing, sing, gills. Ha! <sighs> Work better when they're drawn on a witch's hand. Ooh, yes. Interesting. Okay, so we start with coming up with what we want and write it down. It's gotta be written like it totally will happen. For example, I will be well to make an anti-sickness sing- 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 huh. Don't get too specific or too long though. It won't work. I would avoid I will find my pink stuffed bunny I lost when I was 10. Oh. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> Aaron, do you miss your pink stuffed teddy? It's okay. It's okay, Aaron. I'm writing, I will love myself. Now write yours. All right, I'll do it now. You done? Yep, done. Why can I wait a sec? Why is that an option? I don't understand. I'm confused. <laughs> can I make things super awkward? <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, we cross out all recurring letters from 
I will love myself. I'm left with... Uh, 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 this seems hard. I... I W L O V E M Y S F. Interesting. Uh, he used the letters to draw a glimpse, a magically charmed symbol. I like to draw mine on the back of my hand once I have it. My grandma taught me that. It affects your thoughts and intent more that way. Cool. You done drawing yours? Ye one sec. You done drawing yours? Why is that an option? <laughs> yup. Here's mine. Oh damn, it's the actual picture. I was not expecting that. I love how their skin color matches. But damn. That's epic. Let's see, we got the Y, the I, the O, V, and the E. I'm guessing the E just... Oh! I think it's like an L, maybe? An L's? And then an E as well. With the S. Damn. You don't have to show me yours if you don't want to. Some people think they are more powerful if they're kept secret and even completely forgotten. That suits me. Thanks for showing me this, Aaron. I'm glad you like it. Dots. Anyway. Ha. Damn, look at all this stuff. Herbs. You dry your own herbs? Handy for cooking and brewing. Whatever are you cooking? Um, whatever you are cooking smells amazing. My famous French onion soup with home dried herbs and spices. Plus, it's a potion that helps you find things you lost. Neat. Can I eat it? I lose everything. I love the sunflowers. You. Want a moon cookie? Made the made with fresh lunar butter. What does that mean? I would gain so much weight if I lived here. Um That tea smells so good. Will I pour you a cup? Oh, I have an idea. Do you want to read each other's tea leaves? Yes. Absolutely. Um. Let me read the tea leaves. Well, you gotta drink it first. How about I start by reading yours? I can't tell if I'm gonna hang up or not. <laughs> Go for it. I see. The moon. And I think this is a spiral? You are secretly suffering, but have more power than you know within you. Wow. You got all that from some leaves? Tea, leaves, tea leaf reading is as much about the cosmos and your heart as it is tea. Now it's your turn. Let's see that cup. What's gonna be at the bottom? What am I gonna read? It looks like two snowflakes. Looking in, I see a de dog, bumblebee, deer, butterfly, or cat. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, but I see a bumblebee. A bumble crew, a bumblebee. Laughing, crying, directing, thinking, seeing. Um, a bumblebee laughing. Water, trees, shadow, mist, or sunlight. Um, sunlight. Scared, jealous, haunted, sweet, or beautiful. Um, 
beautiful. Lover, friend, enemy, person, or sister. Mm. I'm thinking... Sister. I see a bumblebee. It's so odd. They are laughing in sunlight. They say that you see before you a beautiful sister. Whoa. What do you think it means? Who do you think it means? I think I know. Thanks for reading my tea leaves, cat. Thanks for reading mine. The Grim. What's that mean? <laughs> what do you think? I carved it yesterday. I know it's not very scary, but some little kids trick or treat at my grandma's each year. I don't want to scare them. Makes sense. Sorry, the place is kind of a mess. I was transcribing spells and, well, you know it's impossible to find a comfortable position to read and write in. So you pick the floor. Uh, you play violin? Kinda. My parents are... M my parents made me go to lessons. I stopped going and came here instead. I was horrible for ages, but I just learned the dense macabre. Turns out my grandma is great on the violin. Nice, nice. Whoa, that's some collection. The biggest collection of pre face scrolls in the world. She says they are so powerful. Interesting, interesting. That's your grandma? Yep. I see the resemblance. Whoa. Oh, that? Bridget gave me that, uh, gave that to me. Every living thing I touch dies. <gasps> no! <laughs> she must have enchanted it. Jeez. If you go near that before it cools, Grain, Gran will kick your butt. She's been working on it for weeks. How can you work on a piece of pie for weeks? It's magic. It tastes of whatever you f is your favorite flavor of pie. Damn. That's epic. But that's the only thing- oh? What's this? That's a puppet. It's a doll used for casting spells on someone. And why do you have that? No reason. <laughs> okay. Though, uh, those are ha hag stones. If you're the at the beach and see a stone with a natural hole through it, keep it. They can be used to stop naked uh, nightmares, encourage quick healing, and even to see the future. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Want a moon cookie? I already had a moon cookie. Is there anything else to look at? Groceries. My grandma and I went to the farmer's market yesterday. She bought me everything I looked at. Damn. I told her not to buy, uh, to, but she likes to spoil me. Jesus. Anyway, so you and your grandma are pretty close, huh? Always have been. That explains the Aaron shrine I saw on the way in. Didn't think your parents were the type. You know, grandma's the one that came up with Aaron when I was trying to think of names last year. Really? I didn't know that. Still think you should have gone with Morgan's idea. Blood drain. Ha. It beats Bridget's prudence. Yeah. You know, my grandma was the leader of a coven of seven witches once. Jeez, I'm good at reading. 
Whoa, she must have, she must be so ridiculously powerful. She's not as powerful as she used to be, but she's way more powerful than any of us. Wait, if your parents hate witches and your grandma is a super powerful witch, how? My parents think I go to extra math classes after school. Ah. Uh, they don't talk at all. And my parents tried to keep me away from my grandma my whole life. Tried. Super powerful witch. Right. So what's in the scrolls anyway? Really powerful hexes. Spells. Chants. Charms. But some of the best ones have really cool stories of ancient witches. Wanna read one? Yeah. Okay, let me see here. There is one about Maeve, the Blood Queen. One about Maeve, Ma the Mother. And one about Winnie, the Mischievous. Blood Queen, Mother sounds sweet. I could go for some mischief. Blood Queen! Maeve was a witch and a healer. She was betrayed by her husband, who revealed her as a witch to the local town before she was supposed to be burned at the stake. She was asked if she had any last words. She told the crowd of onlookers of the consequences of their in action of her children growing in it without their mother, of the sick who would die without her care. And finally, she turned and looked into her husband's eyes and said, I will wreak bloody revenge on those who wronged me. Witches who were hiding in the crowd stood up, one by one revealed themselves, freed Maeve and proclaimed her their queen. And, uh, what? They dragged her husband behind their horses through the streets, leaving trails of his blood. So... Ah, isn't that a nice? Sweet story. I'm head out. <laughs> do we have... Do we have to go already? Well, lunch is almost over, so yeah. No, we can stay Lola. Okay, I'll grab my bag. We didn't even get to eat lunch. Hey, we still have the walk back to school. We could take the long way through the rose garden. We could go to that bakery you like on the way. We could grab an apple from that old tree. The rose garden? Or the bakery? Bakery, obviously. They don't like me in there anymore after I told them to stop kneading their bread so hard. Oh, didn't they kick you out for that before? That's not important. I'll go in for you and get you a scone. Really? You would commit fraud for me? <laughs> I don't think buying a scone for someone kicked out of a bakery is fraud. Alright. Oh, and can you tell them to maybe put less... I'm not getting bad, too. Now, let's go before I change my mind. Thank you. Thank you, cat. Hey, I saw you shivering a little on the way here. Yeah, I forgot my jumper this morning. If you want, you can borrow one of my jumpers. If you want. Really? Thanks, Aaron. Nah, I'm okay. But thanks. No problem. I guess we should go. Let's go eat. Boom, ba doom. Boom, ba ba doom, ba do ba doom, ba ba doom. Are you all right, Morgan? What's going on? I'm fine. How are you fine? It was just milk. Those assholes can't get to me. Then why did you ditch? If I stayed, I would have punched one of them and got detention. I would have paid to watch. 
I'm so sorry, Morgan. They're not worth it. Leaving was a good call. They're not worth it. So true. Now I just really can't wait for the Harvest Festival. Good idea. Focus on the positive. I'm positive that my powers will be strongest that night, and I'll hex those bastards to kingdom come. Not what I had in mind. Even if you want, we could work on a hex together that night. Then it will be way more powerful. Best idea ever. Heron! I'm sh Oh god, that's the wrong voice. Heron, I'm shocked. You know what you send out comes back times three? Uh... I don't think there is anything wrong with using dark magic against abusers and assholes. God, I'm getting their voices confused. No. I second that. Cat, tell them this is wrong. Let's heck those fuckers. Shouldn't use dark magic. <sighs> Hex them. <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong? is threatening people badly and then getting away with it. Let's hex those fuckers. Yas. Fine. Do you do what you want, but I'll have no part in your dark conjuring. Ooh, serious Bridget is spooky. Morgan, stop it. We need Bridget for this. Come on, Bridge. Isn't standing up for your friends pretty positive? You really think we should hex those guys together Harvest Festival night? Yep. Fine, but I'm having a salt and moon water bath right after. Bridge, 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 Bridge! <laughs> one of us, one of us. Ugh. Look at it this way, Bridge. Look at it this way, Bridge. At least we're restoring balance to the universe. So may it be. So may it be. That's the wrong voice. That's not any of their voice. It's just a combination. Uh, so may it be. So may it be. Alright. Well... guess that's it um we're just gonna leave it there that's it that's the end of the video bye <laughs>